And now for a dose of science news. I'm joined in the studio by Ilan Samish, the founder of Ame Proteins, an Israeli startup that is commercializing peptides. They taste like sweet sugar, but they're digested like proteins. For consumers, it means they taste sweet. They do not affect blood sugar levels at all. Thanks for being with us. Explain to us kind of, for in layman's terms, why this is important, the benefit for customers, what kind of customers? Hi, Jeff. Uh, so let's open by drinking first some lemon soda, okay, I'm very which is 60% uh, sugar reduced with some of our proteins. Okay. And today, the number one global threat to health is sugar. Okay. And while the Chaim. The Chaim, this tastes sweet, tastes like soda, tastes like lemon soda. But this is not, if I was diabetic, let's say, this is special. It wouldn't affect my blood sugar this at all. This is special. It has 60% less sugar, and we are now working on 100% less sugar. It's a uh, lemon soda we did together with SodaStream using our ingredient, which we produced in our lab. Now, while sugar is, is public enemy number one, a protein. People which love it though. People love sugar. It's nutritious. Yeah. And people enjoy sugar. You cannot get rid of sugar. People want the indulgence, and you have many things in which you want to put sugar. So the question is how to move from sugar to something which is really healthy. And these are models of our protein, two different types of proteins which we are now producing in our lab at the Weizmann Science Park, which are both healthy and nutritious for you. Are they stable? Have I mean, if you put them in dairy or a cup of coffee or a sweet, anything, a food, would it stay the same? It's still stable? The proteins are stable, but up to a certain point. Now, in nature, in the Garden of Eden, sugar was good enough in the apple to give you sweetness. In some places, some exotic places in today's paradise, in the jungles, this is not enough. Small plants, which are under the canopy of much taller trees, need something more to attract animals to eat their fruit and spread their um, there are seeds okay. in new places where there is sun. And for that, they have a protein. Now, this protein in nature is not sufficiently stable. So what we do in our lab is we use a method called computational protein design in which we take the sequence, the necklace that is the protein, a necklace built out of 20 types of beads called amino acids, and we mix and match them. Because we know that proteins don't grow only in paradise, they also grow in the Dead Sea, in hot springs, in exotic acid, acid swamps and places like that. So, so by we rearranging make, the chain there, I mean, what's the possibility here in the future? Tell me. So what we are doing, and you just drank it, we are it's making a, a nice. protein which is stable. We are fitting the proteins which are found in the jungle to the mass food market. Now, these proteins are already sufficiently stable for drinks, for dairy, for many other applications. They will not be stable in very high temperatures as needed for bakery, but with a $100 billion market, with most of it going to cold things, and they are stable for pasteurization, we can use them simply as a sugar replacement. All this development which is 24 tasty. months so far? It's been so we are, we very opened, quickly. We opened the company on December 16, and wow. we now have already collaborations with some large food and beverage companies, both in Israel and around the world. We are now producing these in small scale. It will take us two more years our to reach large-scale production. Very good. Uh, make proteins. Uh, delicious. Thanks for being with us.